Hello and welcome back to Building on a Budget Models. I'm Thomas and in this video we're going to be unboxing and building a photo booth. Now this photo booth was bought from Amazon, there's a link in the description below. The brand is AMZ Deal or AMS Deal, I'm not quite sure. But now we're going to be uh, unboxing it, looking at what's inside and working out how easy or difficult it is to put it together. There are these white plastic parts, which I'll look at in a moment, and then there's this clear plastic part with some pieces inside. Once you open it up, it comes with an 18 month warranty, which is quite good, and the instruction manual here, which is in a variety of different languages. I'll just go through this slowly, pause it if you need to read it. So regarding the pieces, there's this frame made out of white painted metal. And then there is a USB wire which goes to a um, micro USB. And then there are three of these clips which have been helpfully printed with inside and outside to help you assemble it. Finally, there are four coloured sheets which you can use as backdrops. I'll be showing how to fit those later as well. Remove these before I move on to the other part. Now this folder opens quite easily, but it does say in the manual that you need to be careful so as to not damage the plastic. I struggled quite a little bit um, unfolding this, uh, which is why uh, you'll see in a moment I uh, sped up the process. So whilst I struggle to get it open, here are some specifications. It's approximately a 40 centimetre cube, uh, that's about 16 inches. Struggling a bit, but I did work it out in the end. It's also quite difficult to uh, keep this in front of the camera since it's so large. So you can see how it folds out. These are the sides, you can see the holes there which will be lined up and then clipped together. First thing that really. it wants you to do is to find the hole on the top which is next to the light strip and to fit the frame into place using one of the clips. As far as I can tell all three clips are the same so it doesn't matter which one you use but just make sure that you use the, uh, uh, the inside and outside in the right position. After this, turn it around to the side and then line up the three holes. I did this with the curved parts on the outside so that the uh, walls of the photo booth were as flat as possible. In order to lock the uh, buttons, they need to be turned in the off direction. I don't know why off means locked, but um, there we are. That's what's written on them. There we are, nice and simple, and then exactly the same on the other side. And there it is. And it's pretty strong, so it's supporting itself here. Bit of a curve in at the sides, but the frame, when positioned correctly, will kind of push those out again. Next we've got the wire, 
The switch feels quite nice quality on this, and it's of a decent length, although on my kitchen table where I'm doing this, there aren't any plug sockets nearby. So I'll show you in a moment what I did instead. So it connects here on the uh, left side of the uh, photo booth. There's also a flap by the light which you can fold to kind of direct the light in different directions, which is quite a nice feature. And then I simply plugged it into my laptop, which worked. And there it is with light. And here are some photos which I took simply with the white background. These photos haven't been edited, I didn't take very long on them, so this is just kind of a brief example of the kind of things that you can take using the photo booth. Now the booth also came with those coloured sheets that I showed you before, so I'm going to demonstrate here the black one, how you attach it. Now someone said to me that um, the fold was a bit noticeable, so you might want to kind of try and flatten the fold out a little bit when you're doing this uh, yourself, but there should be two semicircular clips at the top, which you just um, feed the, uh, the, the narrow end into and then you can sort of flatten it out like so. And here are some photos I took with the black background. Took a variety of different cars. As I said before, none of these pictures have been edited. All of these pictures were taken on a Pixel 4a smartphone. If you've got any tips or tricks about taking photos of scale models, please do leave them in the comments. So yes, I can recommend this. Obviously it's a little bit more expensive than simply making a homemade one, but I'm pretty happy with it. Thanks for watching. Please do comment, like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.